The Reception Given by the Holy Spirit to John G. Lake Tongues and Interpretation The Reception Look, it is the morning hours of glory as a shadow through the mist now appear. A troop of angels sweeping down in greeting a welcome home rings out with joyous cheer. A traveler from the earth is now arriving, a mighty welcome is ringing in the skies. The trumpets of a host are now resounding, a welcome to the light that never dies. Who is the victor whom the angels welcome? What mighty deeds of valor have been done? What is the meaning of these shouts of triumph? Why welcome this soul as a mighty one? She is but a woman, weak, gentle, and tender, no special mark of dignity she bears. Only does Christ's light from her face glisten, only the white robe of a saint she wears. She is but a soul redeemed by the blood of Jesus, hers but a life of sacrifice and care. Yet with her welcome all the heaven is ringing, and on her head a victor's crown she wears. How can she come like this from sin's dark shackles, the grace and purity of heaven to obtain? Only through him who gave his life as a ransom, cleansing the soul from every spot and stain. See as you gaze upon her face so radiant, it is the beauty of the Lord that you see. Only the image of his life transcendent, only the mirror of his life is she. See with what signs of joy they bring her onward, and how the heavens ring with glad acclaim. What is the shout they raise while soaring upward? We bless and welcome you in Jesus' name. Rest in the mansion that the Lord prepared you from the loving deeds that you have done, furnished by thoughts and acts that have shown me unto a lost world as their Christ alone. Hear how your lovely harp is ringing. Its strings are plucked by hands you haven't seen. Note it is the music of your own creating, heaven's melodies and hearts where sin has been. See how the atmosphere with love is laden and that with brightness all the landscape gleams knowing it's the gladness and the joy of heaven shining from this rescued soul in radiant beams. If while on earth we all might learn the lesson of what Christ enthroned in our hearts prepares, he fits and readies heart and soul for heaven, making us like him both there and here. Doing all the simple pleasant duties just as our Christ here on earth has done, only seeking that Christ's own beauty in each and every heart be caused to bloom, showing all that the precious blood of Jesus cleanses each heart from all sin below, and that the life of Christ that is within us transforms the soul until it is pure snow. So when we come into the dark, cold river, no night, no darkness, no death is there, only resounding joy as our Lord the giver grants us newly of his life to share.